Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. So we are now inside of the Watcher Temple, trying to save the Zoras. Um, in our last episode, we got the blue tunic that lets us breathe underwater, and we got the iron boots that allow us to sink in water. And we're going to spend a lot of time taking the boots on and off, and this is a really difficult level, so I'm going to try to streamline it as much as I can. Um, <coughs> without doing too much backtracking. But what makes this difficult so level is that we're changing the water level um, to accomplish different things. And here's a familiar face. Sheik saved her, and aside from her father that you unfroze, all of the other Zoras are trapped under the ice. So now, she has come here just like Darunia went to save his people against Volvagia in the fire dungeon. Uh, she is here to save her people. Um... She's going to show us the way to the first place we can uh, change the water level. We have to go up. <clears throat> the other thing that's tricky about this place is um, the there's a lot of keys throughout this particular dungeon, so I have to try to make sure I, I get all of them and keep it pretty straightforward. The other thing that's challenging is when you're in water, um, your hookshot is the only weapon you can use. And normally I probably wouldn't go through all this effort just to get the dungeon map, but here I'm going to, um, because there are a lot of rooms, and I want to be able to keep track of where I am, just kind of mentally for myself, because it's been a long time since I've played this level. <clears throat> and I have several friends that casually play this game, and um, a lot of times this is where, it, as far as they get, and they don't go any further. So if we play Zelda's Lullaby at these symbols on the wall, there's a total of three. The water level will change. And down we go. And I could use my arrows to do this, because I need to light these torches in the corners. Or I could use Dense Fire, which this is the first time we've actually used this. <clears throat> Extremely useful for lighting torches, and I didn't want to use my uh, arrows. So let me see here. Which, speaking of which, I'm going to get my arrows back now. And these guys, you've got to wait until they open their mouth. But they're not terribly difficult. A lot of times, though, you'll fight them underwater and you have to use the hook shot to hit them when they open their mouths. But the hook shot fires a little slower, um, I think, than the arrows do. So you have to time it a little more carefully when you're dealing with uh, underwater combat in this level. Okay, so that's everything we can do in that room right now. Um, we'll come back to it here in a minute. Uh, we're going to go this way. I'm going to have to go kind of through each area. And we're going to pop a bomb. And put on our iron boots. Take 
off the iron boots. Conceptually, though, I like what they were trying to do with this level, um, because it is very different from any other Zelda level that we have played or will play. Um, but there is nothing I can really do in this room at the moment. I don't believe. I don't think there's anything in here. I think it's just a gold sculpture that's over there. Um, and I'm actually just not going to worry about him. So, back we go. <clears throat> I don't have this dungeon as well memorized as I have, like, the fire dungeon and the forest dungeon. Um... And when we're done with this dungeon, we're going to get some cool stuff um, that's going to be useful um, for the next series of dungeons we do. But right now, we are here. So I'm eventually going to go in that door back there. But right now, I need to... Uh, there's another key, I think, on this bottom level that I've got to find. Link is crazy strong. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. I mean, he gets the Goron Power Bracelet at one point, but I don't know, you know, if that still fits him as an adult. Maybe it does. But still, I mean, even without it, Link has still always been crazy athletically fit. Okay. Oh, yes, this room. Alright, so... Come on. I could have used my sword, that was unnecessary, but eh, whatever. And jump. Alright. <clears throat> Another thing that I appreciate about this level too is that from an animation standpoint, water is extremely difficult to do, and I feel like they did a really good job with what they had as far as the 64's capabilities. I mean, the design team on this game really brought it together, I think. We need to try to get on this platform. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this, like that, and then there's a target on the wall. I've got a hit because I'm on a timer. And we're actually going to swim up because they're just a pain in the butt to deal with because that area is so small. Okay. And we're going to get another key. <clears throat> you have to forgive me, I've got a little bit of a frog in my throat. We went from sunny skies to thunderstorms back to sunny skies, so the pressure change here in Florida is always messing with me. <clears throat> but to those of you who may be thinking, oh no, he has a dry cough, he has coronavirus. No, I don't, I'm fine. Uh, I have taken my measures to stay safe and be at home. Which has left me way more free time than I should probably have to play awesome games like this. I don't even have to hit that. I can just use the hook shot and get over there. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Excuse me. right this is one of those spots in some areas where you jump down into the water to get back up you have to sink down to the bottom and then use your hook shot to pull you out there it is yeah. 
Now, what is cool about the um, Nintendo 3DS version of this game is that um, you can set all of your objects to different buttons, like hotkeys. So I could set my iron boots uh, to a hotkey button, and I can just quickly put them on, put them off just by tapping the button, and uh, I don't have to keep going back into the start menu, selecting the boots, equipping them. But that's okay. Not the end of the world. Okay. So, oh, come on. Right. <clears throat> We're actually going to stand back because that's going to open up and enemies are going to fall down. also opens this one over here above me, which is where I believe I actually need to go. Nope, that's not it. Okay then. But, far enough away that it's not triggering combat for them, which is good. Not yet, at least. There we go. The other thing that makes this level difficult is that there is um, a decent amount of backtracking you have to do because you're changing the water levels in some areas you can only get to depending on what the water level is. So like right now, um, I'm actually going to be going back to one of those, um, actually the very first room we were in where we met Princess Rudo. I'm actually going back there uh, as soon as I get out of this room. float back up to the surface here in a minute, but there is somewhere I need to go down here, which is this way. So the first time we lowered the water level all the way, the second time what we've just done is we've raised the water level up halfway, which gives me access to this crack in the wall. Where I can stick a bomb. And there's another spot on the, this first floor that um, I can go into, but there's nothing I can do in there right now because I need the item that we get in this dungeon, <clears throat> which is an upgraded hook shot called the long shot, and it goes twice as far. Um, okay. 
Okay. I think there are fairies in these pots, if memory serves. I could be wrong. But just in case. Nope, just hearts. That's okay. Here, we stand. You have such a small window, and it's actually a small enough window that I don't think you can hit this with your sword and actually run over here in time. No, you can't. So I need a long shot to get there. So I'm just kind of making mental notes about where everything is. Uh, so right now, the only place I can really go to do anything is into here. Alright. Same deal. We're going to stand on this and hit that. level three. We're going to raise the water level back up to the top, which is where we initially started. Apologize for all the clearing of my throat. Um, I'm sure it's all kinds of attractive on a Let's Play channel. So all I can do here is I'm just going to pull this block back um, because I will here in a little bit I'll come back by and get it from this side over over there. Um, but that's all I can do at the moment. Oh, too heavy. Actually, I need the boots on. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even think I needed to do all that. I think I could just, yeah, I could just climb out. My bad. Okay. So, th that path to my right over there 
is, will lead to the final boss of the dungeon. And I obviously can't go there yet. There's the way we came in, which is on this floor. And then there is right here. And this room is not the easiest. I've got to be kind of quick with the hook shot. There we go. And if we didn't do all of that work before, we wouldn't have enough keys to get into this room. Okay. Now we're going to take these guys out real quick. And take him out. going to hit that switch. <clears throat> I gotta be kind of conservative with my arrows for the moment, because I am running low. Now my hook shot will be able to hit it as well. Um, to this. I love these little puzzles. They're not diffi they're not crazy difficult, I should say, but they're uh you know they've got their challenge, which is nice. Make sure there wasn't anything above me. And up we go. <sighs> Come on. Better not knock me off it. Okay. And there we go. <clears throat> now here in just a minute, we're going to uh, we're going to um, face off on the mini boss. I am going to uh, let's see. We're going to save. And here we go. Now the mini boss here is a. Phantom Link, or a Shadow Link, I guess would be the better term. Um, he has all of the same moves you do with a sword, but he does not have your other weapons and accessories. And if you try to fight him with a sword, it's way harder. So we're actually just going to wail, wail on him with the hammer. Because he has all your same moves. Yeah. <laughs> 
too. He'll jump up on your sword like that. I'm in trouble. Okay. Alright guys, I'll come back to you. I'm going to pause the recording here, get back to where I was, and uh, we'll give that another show. That's what happens when you don't have any fairies. So uh, I'll come right back. Okay guys, we're going to give this another go. Uh, that's irritating. Still no fairies. There were none to get. So we need to try to beat him on his terms as such. Okay. So apparently that's the secret. Just don't chase him and let him come to me. Let him get in close enough and whack him with a hammer. That was way easier. So don't chase him. Just let him come in close and whack him with a hammer. And oh look, the entire room was an illusion. Now, we have a new toy. Okay. <sighs> so we're not far from being done with this dungeon. Oh, 
What is happening here? Hang on, I need to look at the map. I'm confused. Uh, did I miss something? Oh, I certainly did. And... No, that's not it. Uh, I don't have the songs memorized, I'm sorry. I'm standing on it. So the long shot automatically replaces our hook shot. So goodbye hook shot, hello long shot. Start this room over. done with this room. And we're back in this cool room that had the dragon thingy. So, on the, just like on the previous episodes, I'm going to play until I get to the boss room, and then the next episode we'll have the uh, boss fight. Since we're down here, this is the room I was saying before I couldn't get to. I needed the long shot. Let me take off our boots. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. 
yes. These guys. Okay. So a couple things. First, we blow a hole in this wall. This is a block we were messing. Uh, no, this isn't the one. This is a different block. Oh, I actually am doing this all wrong. I need to go to this side. And hmm, this wall looks funny. Essentially, I have to push this to the opposite side of where I'm standing, and then I have to push it onto the block that's underwater. I know this is what you folks really came to see. All this exciting block pushing. And the water level raises. Easy as that. And where I need to go is actually back there. I know this episode is longer, and I know a large part of that is because I had to... Oh, I've missed a key somewhere. I know a large part of that is because I had to, uh, you know, refight the uh, boss battle. Um, I have missed a key, and I know where it is. I'm sorry, folks. Don't mean for this to be so long. Uh, let's see, I need to think about where I'm at. This room. Um, yep, there it is. That's 
okay. See, this is what makes the uh, this dungeon so difficult is, you know, depending on where the water level is when you do things, can really mess you up. Okay, so we gotta backtrack. Just a little bit. I gotta lower the level, water level, all the way back down so that I can um, raise it back up to the midway point. Now this was the block that we had were messing with earlier. That we're now pushing completely out of our way. So I can get this. Now, the bonus at the moment is that To, <clears throat> I don't have to do anything with the water level to go back to that room that I was in. So that's where we're going to head back to now. I apologize for that delay. That was my bad. And in fact, I'm going to pause this episode here and get back there 
to that room uh, that I was in because it's going to take a second. That way you guys don't have to watch all that all over again. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. All right. All of that just so we can come in here and get the boss key. Now there's just one last thing I have to do with the water before I can... Um, oh, fairy. Fairy, where's a bottle? Come back here, fairy. Um, just in case this one has one. Ha ha. Uh, I need to raise the water level all the way back up to the top because the room for the boss is on the top level. I actually come to think of it, I don't think I do. I think I can do it without raising the water level. I'll find out here in a moment if it works. What I'm going to do is go back to that room I was in. To, I need to go to this side. Um, I need to go back to that room I was in that I had to go back to to get that key so I could get the boss key room. So I do have to do real quick backtracking, but this is going to be fast. Because... Back up to the second level. Albuquerque, and up we go. I think this is also the longest dungeon in the game. Yeah, I don't need the water level. I just gotta be careful not to fall. Because, yeah, we're not gonna go that way. Over here is where I have to go. And are you kidding me? Okay then, well... Uh... Well, that's a terrible time. Okay folks, so once again I'm going to pause the recording and uh, get back to where I can raise the water level up because apparently I have to. Alright, I will be right back. Okay. Normally I wouldn't cut around like this, but in the interest of time, because you guys have sat with me on this very long episode. That raises that up over there. So now, I can hit it with hookshot. And another fairy. Just fill my bottle. that one to heal ourselves. Alright guys, so at the top of this incline is the boss room. Uh, this is where I'm going to stop this episode. Uh, tune in next time and we will uh, go for the boss of the water temple. Thanks guys.